This morning, I want to ask you a question. What would your perfect church look like? For some of us, we might say, well, it would be an early start to make the most of the day. For others, you might think, I would love a lie-in. For some, uh, you might want to be greeted at the front door with a hug. For others, a firm handshake is fine for you. Maybe you'd like to turn up in your hoodies and jeans. For others, you prefer to wear a suit or, or something a bit more formal. Maybe you'd like some, some new songs to sing, but maybe uh, you'd just like some old hymns. Maybe you'd like a choir, or you're the kind of person that would rather have a full band. Maybe you'd like a cool uh, preacher um, that uses his iPad when he speaks, or maybe you'd rather have something a lot more traditional, um, like a Church of England bishop. Maybe um, you like a traditional old building with some history to it, or maybe you prefer a cool building with some comfortable seats that you can relax in. Maybe in your perfect church, uh, you'd like to have a donut um, and the finest coffee that you can find on a Sunday morning. Whatever it is, uh, we all have an idea of what would make our churches perfect. Charles Spurgeon once said um, that if he were to look for the perfect church and if he were to find it, it, it would not be perfect for long because he would be a part of it. And what he's trying to get across is the fact that the church is made up of God's people and we as God's people are not perfect. So the church um, right now um, in the world today isn't perfect, but it is good and it is wonderful. Uh, and it is the means by which God wants to reach out to those around us. And so today we're going to think about what the church is and we're going to celebrate um, all of the good things that the church does and how God um, is using his church to build his kingdom.